How do you overcome failure? Well, first of all, let's take a look at what failure is. Failure is an event that we label and that we take personal. Because now, all of a sudden, we made a mistake. And now we label that mistake as a failure. And of course, schools, you know, parents, society ah, has a hard time with failure. Why? Because we think that it says something about the person that we are, about our abilities, about our possibilities and potential. And that, my friend, is a lie. It's a belief system that the world has taught you and you accepted that belief system and now it is rooted in your subconscious mind. So the first thing we need is a perception shift towards the component failure. What is failure? Well, first of all, and this is one to frame, okay? This is a quote to frame. Failure is a necessary step towards success. I'm going to say it in a different way. Failure is a necessary component towards the result that we want to create. We have a dream, we have a vision, we have goals, and we see that on the screen of our minds. And now, now we're going to work towards that goal. But all of a sudden, bam, we fail. Ah, and we take it personal because we've been taught to take it personal. And now drama kicks in and drama says things like, oh my God, I will never be able to do this. I will never amount to nothing. You know, I'm such a loser. And of course, now we feel bad and we have a tendency to give up. And I'm going to tell you, Every time you fail, you may not give up because failure is a necessary component towards success. Since it is necessary, it is mandatory. If you want to succeed, you need to welcome failure. And you need to tell yourself, hey, I've been expecting you. And now we are going to investigate that failure. So all of a sudden you fail. You have a result that you don't like, right? Here's the result. You look at the result and you say, I don't like this, okay? But once you know that this failure result is a necessary step towards the end result, hmm, you can take your mental muscle perception and you can now create a shift in your mind. And you can look at the result and ask yourself, okay, I see you, failure. And now I can see you as some feedback mechanism on my journey towards success. Aha, if we can label failure as feedback about where your mind has been, as well conscious as subconscious, now it says something about our thinking, but it doesn't say anything about our potential, about uh, the person we are and our abilities to create the end result. So we fail. We investigate the failure. We go, go back to our conscious mind and we ask ourselves, how can I make this better? How can I improve this? And then you can come up with a new idea. And now you like this idea mm. and you act upon this idea and it brings you a step closer to the end result. But then maybe all of a sudden you fail again and you say, oh gosh, another failure. Okay, apparently I need to learn something because that is what the feedback is all about. It's a feedback learning mechanism. You will go back to your conscious mind and you say, okay, how can I make this better? And this is a dynamic. This is what we need to understand. And if we understand that failure is a mandatory component towards success, we will never give up again. We will just see failure as a stepping stone towards the end result.
I hope this helped you. Be well. See you soon. For more inspiring videos and free content stuff, go to ingerock.com.